All right, so today's lick of the day, we actually got a story behind this one. I'm playing music with a buddy of mine. We're hanging around and just jamming, and uh, we played Noho Pai Pai. And he likes the way the Ka'au Creator Boys play it, so we do all the picking parts from the Ka'au Creator Boys, but I did the intro kind of my own way where I put three different rhythm variations onto the intro, which is kind of a... Um, kind of a embellishment that I like to do from time to time. And he turns to me and he's like, what the hell was that? You know, and so um, I'm just telling him what's well, three different parts that I, you know, I decided to slap together. He's like, oh man, that's really cool. I wish I could do that. And I told him he can and he didn't believe me. So to prove my point, I'm actually teaching this to one of my favorite students, a young man named Eduardo. And Eduardo is a very, very good up and coming ukulele player. And I'm trying to make the point that rhythm can be taught. It's not something that's inherently in you. It's something that you can develop. Eduardo, he started off having a little bit of difficulty with this, but I have no doubt that he's going to get it. In fact, that's why I'm putting this out as the lick of the day, so that when he goes back and he looks at it, he'll be able to kind of remember the rhythm because it's not how they played it on the record. Anyhow, that being said, I will play it for you, and then we'll break it down step by step. It goes kind of like this. All right, let's get in there and see how we did that. All right, guys, pay no attention to my dogs barking in the background. There's like a cat outside or something. And these idiots think that if a cat hears them barking, it'll come in the yard and let them eat it. Anyhow, starts off like this. I'm using this D9 chord. So I'm barring the fifth fret and I'm using finger number two on the sixth fret of the third string. Finger number three is on the seventh fret of the first string. And what I'm doing is I'm going with my two fingers, thumb up, up, down. So then I go down again. And then now what's happening is these two fingers are going to go down one fret each while this one stays where it is. So now it goes to four, and this one goes to five. And I go down, up, down, and that's with this one. And then I go to the C chord, okay, which is bottom two, third fret. Finger number two is on the fourth fret. Finger number three is on the fifth fret. So... Da, 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 da. The second part, there's like this rest in the beginning of it. So I stop first. Then I come up. Okay, so it's like. And so you saw how that went back here, right? So. So it's rest, up, up, and then down. When I go down, that's when it slides over. Down, up, down, back to that. So, and the last one's pretty straightforward. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. And now we go. And so what I'm doing is every time I hit that, this is the C chord, by the way, and I'm just moving it down here onto the first fret. And every time I hit it, I take the pressure off, so. And that's it. That's the lick of the day. All right, so all together. And at speed. There it is. All right, folks, so that was the lick of the day. Hopefully you liked it. Go ahead, comment below. Also, if you're not subscribed to the channel, don't forget to hit that button. Also, don't forget to press that little bell notification, though, so that you're notified every time we put out a new video. And if you like the way I teach, check out my website, hawaiimusicschool.com. Right now, if you sign up, you can get two weeks for free. All right, folks, mahalo for all the support. Aloha.